good morning guys this is Shopka hi um, today um, I'm actually going to do my first project in my new craft room and I want to do an index card for my little book because it's been a while since I created an index card uh, so I already cut out a few uh, pieces of paper that will fit in here so put that aside and um, this is going to count as one of the 100 things challenge as well so I'm going to use up stuff that I already had and that is of course my old agenda 2016 and I want to play with some happy mail um, uh, whenever I get happy mail I keep it all together in uh, a folder like this and uh, this package um, these are actually two packages I believe I got from uh, Birgit Verhoeven and I'm only going to use what's in here except for some glue and maybe some paint and I'm going to search and see what I can uh, do with this and try to make a nice index card so that is what I'm going to do first do I need to gesso this I'm not sure let's see what we will start with because there are some lovely things in here um, I got this washi tape this tissue paper Ooh, love this tissue paper Maybe I can start with this and really let's not think about it too long because then it won't work. So let's just start and do that. Just cut out a piece here so it will work easier. So first, tissue paper. Really love this tissue paper. Never seen this before. And I'm going to use my art medium glue. Just make sure everything is covered. Oop. Already sticks. And then put it down. Okay. the corners are glued down very well so I thought this would be a nice way to use some of my Happy Meal uh, goodies and at the same time I'm using up stuff so really have no idea where this will go as I'm not even sure what's in here I just grabbed something from the top <laughs> so um, yeah but as I said not think about this too much because otherwise it doesn't work so this needs to dry first and I will back in a second. Okay, this is dry and now I realize I glued it down the wrong way probably because this is in mirror uh, writing. But that doesn't matter at all. 
Um, so I already used some stuff here. Just do this. And this is really an exercise for me because I really need to learn not to think about what I'm going to do because I'm always days before I actually create something I'm thinking about what to do and how to do it and looking uh, on YouTube for inspiration and that kind of stuff and I really must learn not to do that and just create all right I have some ribbon here really like this butterfly as well uh, and I like this washi tape that uh, she uh, Birgit used to seal this uh, bag but I really loved it I have some die cuts here as well and some lovely napkins And of course, these images. Oh, I really love that. Yep. Don't think and do. So I'm going to tear it. around here and let's glue that down don't think just do I will put a bit of glue so I lost this beautiful flower but you have to make choices right Another butterfly. Oh, these are nice as well. This is nice as well, but it's a bit thick, maybe for in my um, um, how do you say it? My agenda, my book. So I'm not going to do this. This is sweet, but too big. Look at this, really love it, love it, love it, love it. Let me see what can I do. And I think I'm going to use this butterfly and instead of doing it like this, I'm going to do it like this. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Need some gesso. And just going to add a bit of gesso see what we can do next I have this beautiful P 
piece of paper, jelly print maybe, or um, a wipe off sheet. So let me see what I can do. I could do this. Why, yep, let me do that. Not thinking, just do. And I have my sewing machine nearby. So kind of like this. So, and then I took out the Dilutions ink spray, the pomegranate, pomegranate seeds, because of the color of these flowers. So why don't I just go and splatter a bit. Maybe I should pick this up and put this all out of the way. too much so and then I maybe could use this or maybe I could use a piece of paper underneath it but then it, the flower won't show at all anymore I also have this napkin Okay, so I regret the this. You see? Hmm. Okay. What's done is done. Yeah. Okay, okay, I need um, a very thin brush and a bit of water and I will go right in the middle. So when you do it like this it will very easily tear. Just wet a thin brush, draw a line and you can easily tear it. fact you can go around the image let me see Okay, I'm going to do this and I kind of uh, losing the image underneath this but that is sometimes the way things go. I uh, need to let that go as well because I always want everything to be shown and I mustn't do that. In fact, I'm going to do this. Yep. So I regret those splatters of the ink. 
even more so because it isn't water soluble, uh, water uh, resistant. And probably I am going to mess things up completely. Oh, it's okay. The dilutions inks and also the distress inks from Ranger are water soluble, so you have to keep that in mind that uh, once you have used that, it's going to uh, be activated every time uh, you go on top of it with something wet. So, so um, while I was at it, I used my sewing machine to do some stitches. And um, I trimmed the edges, so this is how it looks now, and I kind of like it. So I will go through all the stuff and see what I can use to finish it. And I'm thinking of doing um, a butterfly like this. So this I will put back in the folder just keep everything here add the ribbon maybe I think I just stick with this That is a good choice. Yep, I'm going to do that and then maybe I can find a quote or something and that will be it. So for this I'm going to use my Stazon to ink the edges. And I'm not going to cut it out because I really like it the way it is. So this is just fine. Probably will do this as well. So then, in the end, I really do like this piece. Um, and as usual, it uh, doesn't turn out the way you are imagining it because with the first flower that I put down I thought that would be my focus point but in the end I uh, covered it up you very lightly can see a bit of the flower here but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes uh, it all adds to the texture they say What shall I do? No, I'm going with my first instinct and that is to put it up like so. So 
so and then let's see if I can find um, a word or maybe there's something in here this I have also got in happy mail from Anya so I need to remember that when I go and work with her happy mail um, hmm. I also have this let me see okay I will go for beautiful this is self adhesive so and this will be it. I will date it. And it's 27th of October. And I put it here. And I put something here. So this was one without thinking too much about uh, what to do next. Um, need to trim this. And I used everything uh, from the happy mail I got from uh, Birgit Verhoeven. So thank you Birgit. And uh, so this is going to count as one of the 100 things. So a long way to go for that matter, but still enjoying it. So this one is going into my book. Um, why don't I do it just here? So hope you enjoyed watching uh, this little video and see you again next time. Bye.